Hello my gorgeous makeup loving friends, today's video is a little bit different. Um, I actually got a box of stuff from uh, Janelica Cosmetics and um, I totally hugely appreciate it. Um, so it's sort of a review video and a thank you to them. I mean I kind of can't get over it. Um, it came in this fabulous packaging and there was all of this which Cece has really enjoyed. I'm going to tell you a little bit about the brand because you know, why not? It came with this nice little brochure that tells you a little bit about them. So it says, um, Genelica was created by a mother and daughter duo in the capital of California, Sacramento. Our colorful eyeshadow palettes quickly became a viral sensation on Instagram for its high quality pigments and unique design. Over the course of two months, our page skyrocketed to almost 50,000 followers worldwide who continue to support our brand on a daily basis. And then they talk about all the different products that they have, um, like they even released quite a few foundations and uh, they've some brushes, they've some sponges, etc. So, um, if you want to see what it is that I got, then this is the video for you. Do please keep on watching. You stuck around from the intro. Well done. I've just had a shower. I've put my hair into curlers because I fancy being fancy. Anyways, let's talk about this. Genelica Cosmetics they had said they were going to send me on like an eyeshadow palette which I was like holy shiz balls that's amaze balls how many times can I say balls in a sentence we'll see we'll see I'm still on antibiotics so I'm not 100% with it and uh, this came with it I will have talked about like the brochure and what it says here but they gave me a lot of amazing stuff beyond just uh, the palette. So they gave me the palette, which I'm gonna show you in a while, uh, lip cream, so it's like a liquid lipstick, um, a beauty blender, which I'm gonna be using to um, obviously apply my makeup, and a, a lip mask. So it says it's a moisturizing and brightening lip mask, and I'm gonna use that now, before I put on makeup, obviously. Uh, it says directions, open the package and remove the mask, apply on clean and dry lips. Well, I've just had a shower. I'm clean. I am now dry. I did put like oil on my face, uh, jasmine oil, because it just helps with moisturising, etc. Um, leave for 15 to 20 minutes for optimal results. When the time is up, simply peel the mask off for external use only, which does make me wonder. That somebody has obviously used it internally. And that's why they've said this. So this is what it looks like. I don't really use lip masks that often. It says the mask is not reusable, but I am all on for trying it. There's like yellow stuff. I think it's just like from the box. But like it was so carefully packaged. There's all of this. I've had to try and save it from CC a number of times. Um, I have just found the debris around my house of just CC being like, ha ha, this is great. So. The rest of this video is going to be me primarily using this palette because I'm working from home today and I, I'm just going to be sitting writing lectures so I can have this on my lips. Can you imagine if my lips actually look like this? Hi, how are you? I don't know. I'm still, I'm on a lot of painkillers. Uh, but this is what the palette looks like. There's a lot of glitters. There's a chartreuse green in there. I'm looking at you, my love. Um, I haven't swatched it. I'm not going to swatch it. The reason why I'm not going to swatch it is my experience has always been um, whenever you swatch something, it just never gives you an accurate indication of how it actually looks. I have swatched things and they look beautiful swatch and then they get onto the eyes and they're trash. I've had things where they've swatched dreadfully and they're amazing on the eyes. So I don't swatch things. I just generally don't find it's great. And when it's a nice little nine pan palette like that, you can get a, a decent idea of it. So I'm gonna use that today. I also have the liquid lipstick, which I'm sure I already showed you anyways, but it's a color I don't usually wear, but I'm kind of here for it. Thank you, Janelica. Kind of can't get over it. It was so nice of them. And um, a, a beauty blender, a little yellow one. It's like all happy and joyful. Um, so I'm gonna go kind of frolic for the rest of the day. I may or may not be wearing pants. It's very warm today. I'm still sick.
and I'm going to stick with that excuse for just being a weirdo for the next one. And I'm going to put this on um, when I come back to do the the eye makeup. By the way, can we just appreciate the, the actual packaging is really cool. It reminds me a little bit of the Urban Decay Jean-Michel Basquet, um, because obviously they use some of his paintings, etc. This is very like modern art inspired. I kind of like that. Like it's just pretty to look at. It's really unusual. Not that I'm a great connoisseur of art. I'm just like, I like it or I don't. My favourite painting is um, Lady Agnew by John Singer Sargent and it hangs in Edinburgh Gallery. It's my favourite. I just love it. Don't know why, just just do. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna F off now, put this onto my face, consider what it would look like if I had lips like this. What do you think? Am I more kissable? Am I more dateable? Oh, I, I miss having Botox. Now I can move my eyebrows again. Anybody want to sponsor me for that? I'm just saying. But anyways, yeah, I'm gonna F off now. We'll come back, I'll let you know what it is that I think of this and we'll do the, the eyes together and yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll go from there. It's fine, that's future Teresa's problem. I still have the rollers in my hair. I used the lip mask. It's apparently retailing for $5 on Janelica. And I have to say, I did enjoy it. Like, I think it's affordable. My lips do feel moisturized, so I'm happy, like even just recommending that. Um, now I have my eyes primed. Uh, I'm wait I've waited to try this. This apparently retails for $40, which who it's a lot of money. It's like, you know, the the glitters do look really pretty, particularly this one. I don't know how well the camera necessarily picks it up, but there's a couple of different flecks to that particular one. So I think that's that's interesting to me. Um, so yeah, I mean, we'll we'll get into it. Um, I've done a lot of chatty get ready with me's recently, which has been strangely popular. And I'm like, but my life is normally so dull and nothing ever really happens. Um, I'm using, by the way, the, the purple and I'm using a Jessup J E zero five, which is a round eyeshadow apparently. The nice purple. It's fairly cool toned. I wanted to try purple because you know obviously purples are very difficult to uh, formulate and uh, they can go quite badly wrong. So, yeah. But yeah, I have been doing a lot of like chatty get ready with me's and just general chit chatty videos and. Um, People have, been, have weirdly liked them and um, I find that so bizarre because I'm like, I am not an interesting person. I am very um, dull. <laughs> like, there's no other way to say it. Like, I don't really do much. I, I go to work, I do things, just fed the cat. You know, it's a pretty standard existence, really. So, but just every so often I have like semi-interesting things happen to me and then I'm like, oh, I must, I must tell you guys. But generally I'm like, no, nothing is happening in my life and uh, there's nothing interesting to talk about. This evening I am going out um, with some friends for dinner. So like, I mean, that's nice. Um, we still have the weird restrictions. So like there's meant to be a few of us, like there's about eight or nine of us, but technically we can't all sit at the same table. So we have to get, I had to order like two separate tables and there's going to be like two meters between us. <laughs> it's so weird. And even um, at the moment in Ireland, because uh, I'm filming this on the 17th, it's the day after my brother's birthday. Um, This will be the 10th. So, yeah, because he, he died when he was 17. Yesterday he should have turned 27. So I managed to get through that. I'm very proud of myself. I didn't get all weird and weepy. Um, but yeah, as I'm filming this, this is the 17th. I just put up the Nikki tutorials video. So um, <laughs> the, the, the laws in Ireland keep changing and just being really odd. This is quite nice, isn't it? I like this colour of the purple and it's going on no problem. But the law keeps kind of changing and just being really odd. 
so apparently outside of Dublin we can have pubs open again like we've had pubs open but only if they were serving food because apparently that's how the whole thing works <laughs> I don't I don't 100% get it um I'm not going to question it I don't envy people who are coming up with policies and legislation like it's not I don't envy them like you're never gonna keep people happy one way or the other there's gonna be people who think you should shut down things and then other people who are like no you need to open everything up and we need to be able to run around and I'm like ah. mm -hmm. I don't know taking the same brush again and I'm going into this uh, pink shade and uh, anyways so outside of Dublin we can all go to pubs again but um in dublin they can't but they've also changed the law so that there's a lot more countries that people can now like travel to again uh, without kind of restrictions and uh, somebody pointed out on like a facebook post that it was like oh okay so people in dublin can't go for a drink but they can get on a plane to go to a foreign country so it makes sense and i'm like actually when you point it out in that way it is a bit odd isn't it but look, like I said, I'm glad I'm not the one that has to come up with these particular ideas because I wouldn't be happy with it. Look at that, that is a, a nice colour. Actually, I'm going to zoom you in. Because you can't see my beautiful face properly. But you can see it's it's very little work is going into this, which is nice because you know me. I am not a fan of having to do work. And actually... Myself and Elena and Missa are in like a WhatsApp group together, you know, for releases and rants. And um, Elena and Missa are doing like a video collab together. And it's where they're challenging each other. Now, I can say this now because the video I know is already up. And Missa's voicemail reaction to what Elena had got her to do was hilarious. Oh my God, she was so unhappy. Um, So... If you haven't watched that video, I'm going to link it down below in my description box. But it's essentially just her being like, she's been asked not to blend things. The queen of blending. So I was like, oh, you'll finally get to know what it's like to do makeup like me because I can't be bothered with blending. I'm so bad at all of that. I just don't have the patience. Missa will sit there and just blend and blend and blend like for hours and I'm like oh no I have other things I want to do but this is actually looking okay so far I'm just gonna take a brush you know a fluffy brush and uh, just swishy swishy you know just as nature intended I don't know I don't know okay I'm looking forward to seeing how that goes because Missa never even gave us like a a completed picture as to how it all came out so I'm like I'm nosy and I want to see because I think she's putting that up on Sunday which is the same day we do our or that we put up our releases and rants so I'm like oh that's gonna be good I'm really looking forward to seeing that I think it'll be a good giggle yeah that purple look at the way that that blends in not a huge amount of effort on that I would say it does fade away a little bit there. I will likely have to build that up again. But I am also cutting the crease. So actually, this has worked out pretty well. So actually, we're we're okay there. Yeah, I like I like that. That's Yeah. Like I said, not not a huge amount of work has had to be done there, which <laughs> you know me, I like that. Hooray! But yeah, I first um, came across Janelica Cosmetics from essentially just doing the releases and rants videos. And they happened to watch one of my videos and um, they talked about their products. And I was like, oh, okay, thanks. And then they were like, we'll send you things. And I was like, wait, what? So I'm supremely confused, but very appreciative. Like... Not every day you get sent things like I do wildly appreciate it. And Cece loved sitting in the box. She kept like taking out all of the like packaging. Because that's just what she likes doing, you know. We all have things that we like. 
So taking the uh, initial brush that I had and I'm going into that like peachy shade and let's, let's see what sort of damage you do. I'm just going to pop that right there. That kind of blends quite a bit with the, the pink already so. I never know what it is that I'm going to do when I sit down to film, that's the thing. I know that some people, when they sit down, they're like, oh, I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that. And I'm like, mm, don't know. I just don't have enough foresight. And then I think of, I also have this thing in my head where I think if I think it about it too much, it won't work out. <laughs> and I'll like jinx it or something silly, which is so stupid. Like, geez, woman, just make up. It's not that deep. It all washes off at the end of the day. Hopefully, if you're like taking care of yourself. Uh, I'm going to take that same brush again. The It's a Juvia's Place brush. And I'm just going to... Cheers, Louise, uh, fringe. Get out of my way. There we go. Yeah, I'm going out for dinner this evening. Should be nice. I'm still, like, as I'm filming, getting over tonsillitis, I have had to actually start a second round of antibiotics, so I still don't feel fantastic. Tea break. And of course, everyone is like, get your tonsils out, and I'm like, yes, I have thought of that. I have even tried to do that. But apparently, they're really reluctant to take out tonsils now, because they're like, oh, these things seem to serve a purpose. and. Mine are massive, um, you know, I'm just saying lads, mine are bigger than yours. Yeah, so the surgeon I went to see about that and just took a bit more of that peach colour, he was like, no, 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 they're way too vascular and uh, there's a really big possibility you would bleed out and that there would be post-op hemorrhaging and I was like oh why I would rather not have that if you know so he was like no 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 um he was like I wouldn't perform the surgery on you anyway even if you were okay with it and I was like oh well now I kind of want it don't tell me I can't have something that I you know <laughs> that person like just a, a complete child yeah that looks nice I will say that the purple looks a little bit patchy. Just a little bit. Hmm. We'll see. We'll see. I'm taking a, a JE10, so a Jessup, a small eyeshader, and going into this shade here. It's like a white, but it looks like it's a shimmer. I'm going to treat it as one, and if not, well, it could ruin everything. Oh no, it is. Oh, thank Christ. Because otherwise that was going to be really awkward. So I'm just going to pop that there. I am highly aware I should really be doing something with my brows. They are very, very big, very bushy. But I'm also horrifically lazy. Just taking a clean brush and just kind of swishy swishy. I know, very technical terms. You'll get there, like, you know, one day. You know, Stacey Marie, don't worry, you keep watching my channel. You'll figure it out, Missa. Don't worry, you'll learn all of the tricks here. Swishy, swishy, all of that. And yes, I am not looking at myself because, well, what's the point? Yeah, that's nice. I like the way that that is kind of coming out. Um, I am going to put a little bit of a half cup crease, so I'm going to do that off camera. We'll come back and, um, yeah, I'm going to put on one of the glitters because I'm very intrigued by that. Intrigued. Intrigued. Yeah, come back. Don't leave me. So I did a very, very basic half cup crease, let's be real. And I have my Too Faced glitter glue here because it's essentially my favorite. And I think, yeah, I think I'm gonna go into this glitter here. So first what I'm gonna do is just take the glitter glue and 
I don't really tend to use glitter that often. Not like pressed glitter anyway. Hey, for Mojo. And I'm just gonna put it on where I have essentially cut the crease. So off you pop glitter glue. You will sort everything out, won't you? I'm like, non glitter glue. You're gonna sort out my life, you're gonna sort out just everything, you know. I'm putting it all on you, glitter glue. All on you. There we go. And uh, I actually, because I'm a weirdo, got like a special brush thingy from Sigma, which can like scoop it out. By it, I mean the glitter. So going for that one. And uh, yeah, let's 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 see how this goes. Not great with glitter, so what am I thinking? Who knows? Oh oh oh, well, that's pretty, isn't it? Funny when else like lean in a weird direction when they're like putting on this sort of thing. This is a great brush, by the way. Can we say it's a brush? It's more like a spatula thing. Anyways, it's brilliant. Look at the nice preciseness it's giving me. Oh, brilliant. I'm a glittery mermaid! And you can't even see properly because I keep leaning off. Oh well. That's your problem, not mine. I know, I'm so nice, so benevolent. It's a nice glitter though, isn't it? Just packing it on. Yeah, and um, I wanna actually take a little bit of that magenta one there and pop that out and back. There we go. Sorry, I'm very excited. <laughs> Jeez, Teresa, get a life. But no, I don't want to. It's not more fun. Smooshy, smooshy. It's quite um, quite finely kind of milled glitter. It's not like wildly chunky, which I like. Like as in, I don't like it when it's wildly chunky. That's pretty, yeah. I am not averse to that, just cleaning that off. It's great because it's silicone, so you can just kind of clean it up. Um, now, for more glitter glue. I don't have a problem. You do. I love that I'm sitting here with the rollers in my hair, like pretending I'm a 1950s housewife while applying glitter to my face. This is very Betty Davis. Betty Davis would have totes loved this. You know? If glitter was more of a thing at the time, she'd have been all like, yeah, put that on my face. Any time now I use glitter, I immediately think of the beautiful Maria, who is uh, mindset and mascara. She is what can only be described as a glitter fiend. Like genuinely. I thought I liked shiny, shimmery things, but she's all like, no, 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 no. Let me show you uh, the depth of my love. It's like that song. How deep is your love? How deep is your love? I don't know. I'm still on painkillers. Okay, so we're just shoving, shoving the glitter on in an unceremonious way. Ooh. I took some of it out of the pan. I apologise. My God, I'm already messing up the palette. I hate messing up the palette. By keeping things as neat as possible. Like in the palette. My, the actual room itself that I'm in. Oh, I've destroyed it. Unless you're my landlord, in which case everything is pristine and everything is fine. It's more just I haven't organised things. Because I think part of it is um, I just have it in my head. We could go into a lockdown again, like any time. And I can't be bothered packing things away when I'd have to go and pick them up again and I'd head back to my parents in Mayo. Because I wouldn't stay in Carlo if it was locked down. I'd just be like, Mum, Dad, I'm back. Let us stay together. Oh, that's nice. 
I really like the cool tone pink. And then I'm going to go into that more magenta glitter. Because we're friends now. You get shoved onto my eye. I will have to remember how to take off the glitter properly. One of the last times I put glitter on, I stupidly, because I'm an idiot, forgot I had glitter on, and just took my makeup off as per normal. And I was like, why are my eyes on fire? It's like, well, Teresa, you didn't use Celtic to take the glitter off. You shouldn't be allowed to uh, be an adult. So, you know, fair. I think. I like the way the two of those kind of blend there. Ooh, that's nice. And then I definitely need to put more of the um the peachy colour out on the outside. So I'm just taking the JE10 and I'm going into that peach colour. And I want to put more of it out here. For some reason it isn't picking up properly on this eye, but it did on the other eye, so. Who knows? My eyes are just deciding to be problematic. I really like that though. I think that's pretty. Actually, I think um I might get like a silver liner or something. Oh god, this, no, actually don't, Teresa, don't you'll ruin things. You're not very bright and you're not very talented. Stick to your lane. There. I'm taking a Jessup 221, a Lux Soft Crease, and I'm going into the purple again, and I'm just smacking that there. Smooshy smoosh, you know, and then just wriggling it around like it's a worm. Because that's what you want. You want worms on your eyes. I don't know. I'm in a weird place. Like mentally, not like physically. Physically, everything's, well, like, I mean... Good luck trying to understand what it is I'm trying to say in this video. Sorry, Janelica Cosmetics, you got me in a weird mood today. You're getting full odd, Teresa. I like that. That makes me happy. And smack you in. Because, like, they asked me what eyeshadow palette I wanted, which I thought was very nice because they have a lot. So I went for this one because I was like, oh, there's purple, there's green. Because my favourite colour is green, but I really enjoy purple as well, so. I need to smack more of that purple on. Just really smoosh it. I just hear people screaming outside. What on earth is going on? Jeez. Okay. Next week we're back to teaching. So, as you're watching this, I've already returned to teaching. So weird. I'm like, I've been out of teaching for so long because of the summer and, you know, it's the longest period of time I've gone without teaching. I find it so weird, so I don't really know what I'm doing. Well, I really, really like that. I think I'm going to go ahead and potentially ruin it. Because that's what I do, you know. Don't come for me. It's happening. Oh God, Teresa, stop. Stop making poor life choices. Stop it. Stop it. No, no, it's happening. It's happening. I have a silver profusion glitter. It's crystal diamond, which was gifted to me by the beautiful Elena. And uh, there is already like a, a, a brush on it, but I prefer this brush that I got from Suva. So I'm actually just going to dip my own brush into this. I know, I know, what am I doing? And I'm going to just... Apparently do nothing because it's not really coming up properly. Ah, there we go. It sounds really loud outside, and I live in a quiet estate, so this is very strange. Ooh, this is nice. I'm feeling myself. Is this too much for a dinner with friends? Probably. 
but I hope the guy I'm seeing is also coming, so possibly, unless he's like super busy with work, because he works like 12 hour days, I don't know what's going on, oh, Teresa, don't be an idiot, oh well. I don't even know if I can say that I'm seeing him. Ooh, who knows? Thinking things through too much, get out of your head. Okay, what is it with me trying to do this eye? This eye never wants to cooperate. Like, never. <sighs> Come on now. Play with your friend, try to try at least to be like your sister. You don't have to be an honor roll student. You don't have to get all A's. I just I just want you to try. Just try for your mother. That'll do, pig. That'll do. I really, yeah, I'm liking the way this is looking so far. Like I'm really It's like I wouldn't say it's like the best look I've I've done, but it's like it's just a quick sort of a look. So actually it's not quick for me, but I'm normally like, bam, 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 done. Um, like, Nissa and Elaine, I think it's hilarious as to how little time I spend on my makeup because I'm like, oh, I have to get this done in 50 minutes. And they're like, sorry, what? And I'm like, well, I have other things to do. But I'm spending longer on this than I would usually spend. But sure, look, we're here, we're hanging out. It's all good, it's all good. Um, yeah, will I take that one or, yeah, there we go. So I have this like blush tribe brush here and I want to go into that chartreuse green. Look, I, I mean, I was going to get there eventually. How many of the shades have I tried? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, seven out of the nine, that's not bad. I can actually give you a decent uh, idea as to what my impression of it is. Oh, yes. Oh, look at that green. Hello. Hello. Sorry, that was overly excited. Or is it the right amount of excited? Because I actually think this is amazing. Yes, yes, yes. Get onto my eyelid. Look at that. That had no problem applying. That's very pigmented. I would say, in terms of pigmentation, it's up there with. Um, the Be Perfect XL Pro Ecstasy. Oh, I like that. That is nice. Yeah, happy. Not gonna lie, my feelings on this palette were totally gonna depend upon that green. Like, you know, if that had been a disaster, I'd have been like, no, no, this is all rubbish. Take it home, put it in the bin. No, I wouldn't have put it into the bin. That's a terrible waste of product. Yes, I know I'm smacking it everywhere over here, but I'll just um, clean that up later. Future trees is problem. I feel very like poison ivy. Anytime I do a green and a purple together, I just instantly think of poison ivy. Oh, which is great because she's amazing and beautiful and stunning and I'm so here for that. Just taking this brush here. It's my uh, Jessup 221 and I'm just going to Lightly, so I can get rid of the harshness. It's blendy. Blendy, blendy. I apparently do a weird face while doing it. Yeah, that's nice. I'm here for that. I mean, I'll have to soften that up and clean away a certain amount of that. Oh, I totally need to get more of the green up into here. Such precise lines, such accuracy. Don't worry. You'll get there. You too, one day, will smoosh with the best of them. I'm kind of losing a bit of the colour over here, which isn't what I want. I think it's more with the um, smacking things all over the place. Far too much enthusiasm, like chill out, bit cool. Yeah, and then I'm taking this same brush again, going back into the purple, and then smack more on because you know that's never a problem. 
and yeah, curling over here, put a bit there, because you know, why not, why not, I really like that, actually, it would be super weird, oh, I don't even know, look, what are you doing, no, what are you doing, Teresa, oh, you shouldn't be allowed to do things, you're, you're gonna do it, aren't you, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna do it. So I have just a little brush here, and I want to go into the yellow and put it into the inner corner. This could actually totally ruin it and just look ridiculous, but don't care. Whatever, just going for dinner with friends. Oh, I like that. I like that. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Mm. I've basically used all of the shades now. So, that is, oh Lord, you can really see, it's it's quite a cake up pan. Like you can see, it's quite a bit of shadow there. I am going to go and finish the rest of my face. I am also going to be using this blending sponge, which was apparently $8 on their site. And I have the lip cream, which is $20 on their site. So I'll come back when I have all of that put together and I can tell you what it is that I think of each of these items. I've already told you about the lip mask, so I won't be repeating myself on that. So do please return. Don't, don't go away. I'm back! I took the curlers out and everything. I mean, my hair is still wet, but we won't talk about it. It's been a whole thing. Um, I'm gonna zoom you in on the eyes so you can see them all finished. I mean, I really like that. I think that looks really cute. I'm, I'm, I'm here for it. And of course, this is the lip cream and it's in the shade number five. So they didn't really give it like a name name. Or unless it's on the box. No. No, it doesn't say. Anyways, it's not necessarily a shade uh, I would have picked out for myself, but it goes with the look and uh, it's actually very comfortable. So let's talk about all the things. I've already talked about the lip mask, so I'm not gonna repeat myself. I really like that. There you go. Um, I used the sponge. Oh my God. So this retails for $8. And uh, it was much smaller. It's now all squidged up and don't mind it. It's covered in my foundation. Um, it, they gave me the yellow one. I have been using a beauty blender a lot recently. I don't, it's okay. This is so much better, so much better. Um, and I love kind of the shape for here because I sometimes put a bit of powder on that way. I, oh, I really like this. It reminds me of when Real Techniques originally came out with their sponges before they had reformulated them. I really, 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 really like this. Um, it doesn't take up too much product. It blends it really, really nicely. I'm happy with that. Would very, very happily recommend. 10 out of 10. Um, in terms of the lipstick, I would give this a 10 out of 10. I'm not wildly keen on the color. However, the formula feels really comfortable. And it's a sort of a demi mat, like it doesn't, like it dries down, but it's quite comfortable. I really, I, I do quite like it. I prefer a different color, but I like this. Um, finally, the Deja, oh, by the way, this retails for $20. If you are interested, I thought it was really nice. Finally, the Deja Vu palette, which I have on my face, my eyelids, my eyeballs. I tried seven out of the nine shades. I'm gonna take it out of the packaging. This is what it looks like. Oh my Lord, I went to town on it, didn't I? I really liked this. It blended and worked really, really nicely. Um, I would give this an 8.5 out of 10. Why am I not giving it a full 10 out of 10? It is $40, so I feel a bit reluctant to give it a full 10 out of 10. If, however, you like the color scheme of this, if you like the glitters, if you like the general thought of that, then I would happily recommend it. I think you would enjoy it but it is, it is expensive for nine pounds. Like it works out as being about $4 each. But in saying that indie brands are always a little bit more expensive because you know, their, their upkeep is generally much higher than like a bigger uh, multi, multi conglomerate brand. I don't know where they're hard. But yeah, I mean, there wasn't anything that I didn't like out of this. I thought it was really, really good. Um, 
I will use the, the, that green. Sweet Merciful Zeus, really enjoyed it. Um, but yeah, that is it. That is the end of the video. Do please like, comment and subscribe. Thank you so much, Janela Cosmetics, for sending me on these things. Like, I mm, really liked them. And I apparently uh, enough to make very odd noises at you. I apologise. Hmm. It's beautiful. I really enjoyed it. Uh, do please share, because sharing is caring, unless, of course, it's an STD, in which case, you know, Wrap it up. Don't be gross. But that is it. That is the end of the video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.